demand for production and consumption of fresh fruits in sub-Saharan Africa has enormously grown, first as a source of food and nutrition security and next as a source of income. In southern Africa, the mango fruit trees are topping the list as they are able to survive in drier areas. They are also a source of food and income for farmers in countries such as Malawi, Zambia, Zimbabwe and Mozambique. However, this has not been an easy journey for farmers as they have encountered one major destructive insect that has caused a menace on their farms. The invasive oriental fruit fly, scientifically known as Pactocera dorsalis. The African fruit fly program is a demand base. It starts with the demand from the mango growers because they are hit heavily with the fruit fly infestation. If they spray, their produce is rejected and because of the maximum residual level in export market and if they don't spray the mango is destroyed uh, through the infestation of fruit flies and ECB as an insect based institution we could not sit back and watch the farmer just suffering because of the fruit fly infestation so jointly with the national and international partner ECB came up with the bio based holistic solution to tackle this, these problems initially our main focus was in East Africa. However, given the transboundary nature of the best, the same problem is equally affecting the mango grower across the continent. So we sought to replicate the same approach in uh, Southern Africa, particularly in Malawi, Zambia, Zimbabwe and Mozambique. One of the major challenges which we had probably was uh, the mango infestation. This has lived with us for so long. Even our grandparents have experienced the same thing, of which we didn't know what really it was. Uh, only it's this time that we are discovering that uh, there are some what you call um, mango fruit flies. I had been losing almost 40-50% of uh, my mango harvest because uh, I could imagine um, from whatever, looking at the way uh, the fruits were bearing and what was upon the market, it was really something quite, quite, quite hectic. In Monga uh, Zamangwe's experience, I mean, in Nankara Nayo, Nankara Mango, 10 years. So, Mkunkara Nkara Muja, Wakuchiranga, Kukapena Nuku, Mount Makulu, Manabuela, Babuela. The devastation in Africa by fruit flies on the mango farms has been largely attributed to the poorly developed control mechanisms which are ineffective, leading to losses on the farm. The trickle-down effect of these inefficiencies is that it leads to fruit losses and subsequently incomes for the farmers and profits for the value chain actors who depend on the fruit. Uh, I've had these trees, as I said, since 2010. But I've never had the full joy of enjoying mangoes the way <laughs> I would have liked to because sometimes they bear quite well. If, assuming that year I've been uh, keen enough to spray the fungicides, I've controlled the fungi on the, on the flowers, they will bear. But then comes the time when the mangoes are ripening. You come in, you pick a mango looking so beautiful outside. You open it, it's black inside and there are maggots inside, you just throw it away. Sometimes out of 10 mangoes, for example, you plant them from the tree and you only find you can enjoy two or three. So that has been a major disappointment. So I think a year, two years ago, that's when we learned that uh, government is now putting in some effort to try and combat this problem of the uh, fruit fly. One of the things we've been doing, for example, there comes a time when ripe mangoes start falling off the tree. Um, each time we tried to pick them, we found there's something wrong inside there. So we pick those ones and we used to dig a small hole, bury them there, and uh, that tended to help a little. But uh, 
as you know, by the time you're picking those uh, fallen ones, the others up there may look nice, but maybe they are already infected. The, the challenges that we had before using this uh, is that we used to... Uh, we, okay, you know, when you don't know any anything, or maybe you know that this, this is a disease, or maybe this is a problem, now you don't know what to do about it. So you find that it's a very big challenge. You won't, don't know what to do about it. And then again, when you go to the, to the shops, those guys, they just want to sell their chemicals. They will even sell you a wrong chemical because they want to sell. And then you, for us, we, all we want is our fruits to be healthy, to be good. And then we want to, to have a lot of fruits. So you find that we just get anything. We used to get anything. But this time, uh, after I started using this, it has really helped us. Yeah. Mango ni mene labo ledo ni nchenche ti malisia, ti matenga loli mba loka loka. Andi hudi mango wa fike kunoko bunobuino, ti mabagila madengu nga rawawa. Kuika madishi, ndi kudenta hagu mango wa makanga na madentana. Saa fika buinoi. Kwa maguika madengu nga rawawa bida mpepo. Ti makozo guli sa madengu wa wido sewa, siku limozi. Mango nga da fika bunobuino. Kwa maso mene ti madengela madengu umu. Aga kagudi sana, siti na patikiza nizi ntu zizage usanjigiza, mangu wa mafikali bunubuini. Kwa mamiste kuka patikiza madengu, madengu, na mafikali ono ngega. Kwa maso kai kapa zua jonchi, ya mafuna kwa vinigila kudasara, asalowe zua kwa mbiki. Ya. Before I received the training for the um, research, I was just doing, actually, as a local one. I was not controlling it with anything. Yeah, I was just harvesting, but those uh, these hybrids, I was not selling uh, any quality prices, cause others were just falling down. Yeah, but and I was not knowing what was made, how uh, it is, uh, why it is uh, falling down. I was just uh, uh, reaving. Well, these uh, log ones, they are better in the uh, fruit fries. I was selling differ with these ones. To combat this menace, the International Center for Insect Physiology and Ecology, CIPE, in 2019, launched a project dubbed Alien Invasive Fruit Flies in Southern Africa, implementation of a sustainable integrated pest management program being implemented to aid in reducing and fighting the invasive fruit fly. The project targeted to reach over 4,000 farmers. It was funded by the International Development Research Centre, IDRC of Canada, and the Australian Centre for International Agricultural Research, ICAM. To ensure that the project is a success, ISIPA partnered with Southern African organisations that include Department of Agricultural Research Services in Malawi, Eduardo Modlana University in Mozambique, Zambia Agricultural Research Institute in Zambia, and the Department of Research and Specialized Services from Zimbabwe. This project started in 2019 here in Malawi. Initially it was based, it was to be implemented at Salima and Ncheu, but because of some other challenges it was shifted from Salima to Lirongwe. So we have Ncheu as a project site and, uh, and uh, Lilongwe as a project site. The goal of this project was uh, to enhance nutrition and uh, socioeconomic and uh, food security of uh, uh, farmers, especially the youth, the women, yeah, so that they can improve on their uh, well-being status. The goal in terms of food fry management was uh, to uh, give them to, uh, to empower them to do some research or to be, uh, to be brought forward so that we can search together so that we can control these uh, invasive fry fries. Before we had received this, the mangoes, we had uh, fruit fry uh, uh, infestation. We had plenty of them. But after we received this, we had seen the reduction and the suppression of these fruit flies. As a result, we are seeing to it that we have proper mangoes and even you can even enjoy to eat these mangoes. And even these, our, my farmers, they are even able to go and sell and at a good price. Under the project, 
integrated pest management techniques that include baiting techniques, male inhalation, biopesticide application, orchard sanitation, use of argumentarium and parasitoid release that have been tried and tested in different farmer regions such as Lilongwe and Cheo in Malawi, Rufanza and Chilanga in Zambia have been packaged for farmers. The first time we instated the, the traps, the insects were, uh, they were full somewhere here. Yes, then again we, 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 we inserted the second time, there were just a few. Now uh, you can even see now that there are just a few. This one is uh, six months old. Yeah, but you even see that the, the, the fries are few. Uh, we started this here in Chilanga, here in Kachenjela. And um, we've got now other farmers, even as far as uh, um, Shimabala, uh, away from Chilanga because they have seen that this thing is working. So you find that when they, when they come, maybe they are visiting, where did you get this? Then they give, me, they, give, they give them my number. Then when they give them my number, I explain, and then some of the people, they are also going to Mount Makul. The IPM packages reduce fruit fly infestation by 80%, reduce use of synthetic pesticides by 74% while increasing revenues by up to 60%. These fruit fly management solutions are friendly to the users, consumers of the fruits and the environment as they have no adverse effects on non-target organisms such as pollinators. Previously, farmers harvested only three to four baskets of mangoes per tree. Introduction and adoption of IPM technologies has brought about increased yields. Out of 10 mangoes, at least seven are of good quality nowadays. This goes a long way to show that the IPM packages have improved the odds for food farmers and increasing their yields and incomes. The ripple effect of these interventions has led to reclaiming abandoned mango orchards. Farmers are also planting new mango trees, especially the improved varieties. In the long run, these are expected to also significantly increase carbon sequestration, hence contributing to reduced global warming. After being trained, I'm now harvesting a lot of mangoes and very beautiful mangoes and the, to the market people are robbing them because they, are not, they have got no more uh, problem. So I'm costing them with a high amount. Yeah, As for example last year I managed to buy those uh, bicycles. As I'm saying I, I bought, I bought a, a lot of fertilizers from in. Seasonality of mangoes means that the fruits are in surplus over a very short period and they can only sell at a low price or consumed all at a go. To address this, farmers are encouraged to add value to their mangoes in a bid to further boost their incomes and manage post-harvest losses. Using dryers made of nets, mangoes can be dried and packaged or stored for future use. In Zambia, a basket of fresh mangoes fetches only six US dollars while that of dried mangoes fetches up to 49 US dollars. Tika chola mango, tika, tika chola mango, umwamba mchumtengo, then tika gulisa, zia za mezi salapo, tima ya nika, mshedi umu. E niyo mameni maya nikira umu. Tinajua jua mango zili seti, then after kuzijua jua, nabuwa nafaka hapa, na hapa, na hapa, diapa minazi, Continuous stakeholder engagement has been pivotal in achieving the project's milestones. So far, 9,000 men and women have been trained on IPM technologies. Of the 9,000, 52% are men and 48% are women. Over 100 agriculture extension officers and five postgraduate students have also been trained. Through this training, close to 1,000 farmers are now using mango dryers. And on the mango fields, over 60,000 parasitoids have been shipped and released in Southern Africa. 
This has had a positive socioeconomic impact on close to 50,000 people who depend on the value chain both directly and indirectly. After the IPM technologies have been introduced to them, the socioeconomic impact I have seen, one, at least they have been able to, uh, the livelihood has been at least improved because there wasn't that much income being gotten from the mangoes because of the fruit fly. Hence, after the introduction of these IPM technologies, at least there's an improvement. And people are able even to pay for the, for the school-going children. People are also even able to pay even as far as the college. We have an example whom we have even seen that you no know, one of the farmers paid for even for the son, even completed. And right up now, she's a proud mother of a registered nurse. <laughs> Wano, vana vama inda kuskuru, ya mene yu mango. The same mango, natenga ma, natenga ndzama kufileji banki ni Philippine. The same mango. So hapa ni nibweza ndzama, mwuzi yu mango, mwana nze kuchita graduation. Nze libe ndzama ya kuchini mu, pele kele kai kudwaza siso ni, kulibe mango. So na inda watenga ndzama kufileji banki, kuti yu mwana inda kuchia ni kugraduation. So yon drama ni 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 gulisa mango ni funo pole kaka kufile jibani kama ni na kongora ni sinde same mango ili matuta ni zama ningi mango. Uh, what I can say about the mango, mangoes have really helped us. Uh, the time the project started when he brought the the medicine those to my medicine for for the insects, the mangoes from that time they're doing fine, and as in for me. I've really benefited a lot because mangoes, they're the ones which used to push for me the school fees. Apart from school fees also, um, groceries, you know, school is quite involving, so it wasn't easy for me. But with the project, it has brought a lot of uh, development in our community. I'm very proud the mango and the mango and the mango and the mango and the mango. I'm very proud of the mango and the mango and the mango and the mango. Kizadzio. <laughs> Chifugati nali beso chizwitso, jakuti mwina mangu wa kuzo karata ndizo nga tila business. Ndeba no baba, mene ya buwela Mr. Mpai, tikubindu la jifuga mangu watu wa makala goli, tepa nsiga, antu wa magonda. Ndiposo ama tigula. Ndipo tikubeza pindu, lojuluga. Ndiposo ti majia bango, labu ino lopa satansi. Nga kale kumarubi hatu. Kiru, uh, kilibo. Panopa, nukuli sana wili kusukulu. Wili na reform 3, wili na reform 4. Drama zake za ujoka maulimi wa mango. Ngulitza kwa mango kwa jaga yata, hada gula ngumbuzi, kwa maswa nkugulitza, nkugula kwa nkumba. Zintu nga rezima, zintima na zuri bangitza kwa na zipira kusukuru, kwa maswa sezi za ujoka maulimi wa mango. Through voluntary participation by the farmers, farmer cooperatives have emerged. Through the cooperatives, they have been able to pull their incomes together, train other farmers, as well as lend amongst each other, where they repay with interest to increase their savings. In Zimbabwe, 842 farmers have been trained on mango drying, while in Zambia, 28 farmers were trained on how to make inexpensive dryers. A good example in Malawi is Chikondi Mango Farmers Group, which started with only 10 women and has managed to recruit men and youth into investing in mango value chain as a business. Azatu, Odezungulira, Amene Agusilira, program Amene, Ndivo Kulagalaga Kwa Gululatu, Nkuri Chita Wafikira Iwo, Kurafika sopa menefe urafika haba. Chifuga iwo, iwo wali kutukumbila menefe uja lama nko kuna habu ino menetu gulitsila, menetu bangila ndarama. Marangizu wanga kuri antwa meneo au yedwa. Fuwa mwina, hada kakano mgulu ngariri meneri akadama pindula. Kifuwa adama gulitsa mangu hao nkuma gula zintu, zori zo watandizaba kwa mwavao. Women empowerment has been integral during implementation of this project. By promoting women, they are now able to see their value and they have power to make choices for themselves and families without feeling inferior. Through these engagements, access to information that allows them to be members of essential groups that focus on the value chain has been made easier. In return, 
This has led to increased incomes and group membership among the women. The ordinary woman, maybe as we go out for work, you know we are agriculture officers, people who work under health, people who work under all this, they tend to sell from the woman because the woman, one, will get her fruits fresh. So most of us will stop by the roadside, look at the mangoes and pick that. Okay, so depending on where the mango trees is and the vicinity to the road, the woman can still make her money. But for the men, it's like them, it's big. There should be a truck. There should be people loading and all that lot. But when they go to the central place where they sell this, depending on how the supply and demand is, they will make their profits, they will make their losses. For me, I see it a bit on the balance side, but people tend to buy quality when they, sell, when they buy from the woman. As the project winds up, there is need to promote consistent capacity building on the use of integrated pest management technologies for fruit flies if greater control is to be achieved for these transboundary pests. This calls for the governments of Malawi, Zambia, Zimbabwe and Mozambique to actively participate to ensure the IPM technologies have taken root in their countries. Because we had groups of farmers, a mango farmers group, so I think we, we, we will not want to see those groups die. So we will continue with this project and um, all we can ask is that um, uh, Zari maybe can he, uh, stock those uh, lures in the, in the stores so that the farmers are able to buy from the shops. I think we've, in, we've talked to them if at all they can manage to buy that if the project was to end. We have been on the ground. We have implemented IPM throughout Southern Africa specifically in those countries, Zambia, Malawi, Mozambique, and uh, Zimbabwe. Uh, we still see that there are some challenges that are on the ground, especially, for example, in terms of uh, inputs. When you look at inputs, there is still a challenge of um, uh, availability, uh, accessibility, and affordability. If we are to look at adoption holistically, these are the kind of challenges that have to be plugged so that we are able to link the farmers to input suppliers. We link the farmers to financial service providers. We link the farmers to the market. Also, on top of this, there are some emerging challenges, emerging issues which are coming out. For example, the issue of the mango white scale. It has ravaged Ethiopia already and it is spreading throughout uh, many countries. And this requires a holistic approach. Considering the very promising and outstanding performance of the implementation of this approach in both East and Southern Africa, that transform the life of bull resource farmer and other actors along the mango value chain. This call for a scaling of this technology in other parts of Africa, which so far has been left out. However, this we cannot do alone. We need government involvement, especially in terms of policy to facilitate the implementation of this approach. Especially, the, uh, the fruit fly is not a country-specific or region-specific problem. Rather, it is a continental-wide problem that needs a concerted effort from the African government across Africa, if we have to win the battle against the fruit flies. For Africa to have a fruitful future that ensures continuous food supply, nutrition security and better livelihoods for African farmers, there is need to encourage them to plant more fruit trees, especially mangoes, and undertake good agronomic practices for optimal production and profitability. At ICIPE, we will continue being at the forefront of supporting the value chain to curb the pest and diseases menace for this success to be achieved. For more information on this project, visit our website www.isipe.org.